Blessings and peace, blessings and peace. A welcome to the Ice Turner experience. Something you can't define, you can only experience with me. I was actually um, in my quiet space and I was thinking about judgment. And um, I remember uh, Brother Warren Lance was talking about, uh, you know, God doesn't judge us, we judge ourselves. And that, um, that popped up in my mind, I don't know why when I was thinking about that scripture. But I honestly believe that Yeshua enabled us, you know, with that power through our spiritual connection within our penal gland, Christos, to be able to judge a tree by the fruits that it bears. And I also believe that he was making the point to say that as I am and at a me level, right? As well as you and me in connection to us level. See, I believe the scope of our interaction of that truth broadens our worldview in a system of thought and structure in concept and in context because through that spiritual implication we can actually have the mind of God while understanding the mind like God so we don't make that judgment call irrationally or in a harsh way of stating a point Because if you think about it, you and I both have the tendency to want to remove an eyelash from our neighbor's eye so we can ignore the log or the improper weight and measure in the thinking of ourselves in carpos or a speck of sawdust from our Christos. Because any validation outside of our connection in relation of our principle and our fellowship or the quality of our fellowship in suffering with Yah, for Yah, and by Yah is insignificant. I remember Freeport asked me, where do we get our internal validation from? And he posed a question to me about... Um, what if I get dementia, then where do we place our values and our beliefs and our confidence in? And I believe it's through our fellowship with our Father in heaven through the suffering. Just like Job. Although you slay me, I will trust you. As you are killing the lower end of my frequency, the confusion of myself to bring me into truth. See, being able to recognize our own destructiveness through our own perception develops a more mature integration and fellowship with Yah and with others through awareness and understanding. But the failure of not to do that particular thing, we are stoking our own hellfire and judging according to our own flesh. Turning the other cheek has, um, now I'm starting to understand to with the love of what self. it means to turn the other cheek. But not the love of self through the flesh. Through um, the external things, like such as our good looks, our muscles, 
our texture of hair, what we have in our account. See, the one thing that destroys us also on the reverse side is the loathing. So we have to kind of guard our minds from, you know, the success of certain things. And we also have to guard our hearts through the failure of things and look at it through proper balance. See, only through youthful understanding, youthful arrogance, youthful conceit, and youthful misappropriation, we have the tendency to not measure the formula for uh, agape. In the Greek, that means love. It's love in a perspective of how God would love, not eros. Or uh, Vallejo, you know, human love. Because <laughs> human love has conditions. God's love has no stipulations. You know, we all say that we love someone unconditionally, but we are being dentist, honest with ourselves. And we are also providing a disservice to that particular person because it only takes one thing or a certain thing to change that narrative because that uh, Leho love, right, is more of like a human love that has that condition. I love you on a condition that you do what I tell you to do. I love you on a condition that you keep a certain pact. or that you stick to a certain principle that is within our group. Now, how do we get to a place to where as though we can love ourselves through proper balance and proper measurement and come to that understanding that although we have the scale to judge, should we? Now, there's a difference between correcting someone or how do they say, the, uh, the saints would like to say, admonish, ratify, uh, versus outright, you know, obliterate them, you know. One has a savage tone, the other one has a more um, calming effect. You know, it's a difference between hitting someone uh, with a cobblestone, pure force, versus putting that stone 